guys welcome back to the channel today we have a an oldie I think everyone can enjoy a an old 7.3 well she was brought in for an oil leak and you can kind of see there's oil pretty much all over the place I wanted to show you one of the things that I found leaking and it is those two fittings uh, it's kind of hard for you guys to see those two fittings on the high pressure pump, right? There's one right there. And the other one is right there. My light is shining on it right now. So if you can kind of orientate yourself, you can see where those fittings are. They got this line going to it and this line going to it. And that is what feeds the cylinder heads with high pressure oil. So for this type of repair, we can actually take these lines off, those fittings, and replace these O-rings. I'm gonna show you over here. All right, this is the O-ring kit for your 7.3. And this is what comes in it. It's got three little O-rings and, uh, and some Loctite. So there are some instructions we're gonna have to read in here and we'll go through that and I'll show you guys how to replace your high pressure oil pump fitting o-rings on your 7.3 liter. All right in the instructions um, I wanted to illustrate to you guys this is the high pressure pump. This is the front of the vehicle it's got two bolts over here that mount this to the front cover. This is the engine valley. And um, we're taking these two fittings out and this plug to replace these three seals. Here are a picture of the fittings and the plug out of the pump. <clears throat> we gotta get the lines off. We gotta take the fittings out. And behind the fittings in the pump, are two springs and we are going to make sure we put them in the same way uh, we got an open end here and a closed end here with a little uh, orifice and we got to make sure we install that orifice back down into the same uh, location or orientation I'm sorry that it, it came out in so once we get those cavities cleaned out that these screw into we're gonna apply a Loctite to the first three threads of the fittings and the plug that I showed you on the other side. And we're gonna screw that into the pump. So um, I'm gonna get the tools out and show you what we gotta do. So I'm on top of the engine and um, one of the things you have to do, uh, you have to take the lines off of the fittings that are in the pump and it requires you to use a special tool. Well, when I needed the special tool, it wasn't readily available. So I wound up making my own, and this is what I use. So um, we have to go like that with this tool um, between the fitting and the line. And there's like a little quick disconnect. And it's going to be kind of hard to show you guys because it's in such a cramped area. But I'm going to show you how I put my tool on and how we are going to wiggle these lines off. Okay, so I got the tool on. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna have to move my light here. And I'm going to wiggle that off with my other hand. I'm pulling on the line, like I'm pulling it out of the pump, okay? So I just pulled the line out of the pump. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so I'm gonna just get this line up out of the way here. I did disconnect. Um, some electrical connectors and I'm actually gonna disconnect one more so I can get this line up a little higher or actually go around another harness okay so I got that up out of my way now we're gonna go for the second one again put the tool in there try to get it under that little plastic quick collar connector 
And then I'm gonna use my middle finger on my right hand. This guy doesn't wanna stay out of the way to pull the line again right out of the pump. Okay. I'm wiggling the line back and forth and I, I just yanked it right on that little elbow. Right, right there, just yanked right on this little elbow to pull, to pull that out. So now, we're gonna go after the fittings. All right, back on top. Here are the fittings. Now we're gonna take them out. I'm just using the 3 8 drive, 19 milli, shallow. Just gonna go ahead and put that on. Just take note, because we're right here by the alternator. And we don't wanna zip, zip, zip with the extension. So just be careful when you're, you know, breaking it loose. Uh, barely even, I barely even did anything. She was loose. So I should be able to probably take that out with my fingers now. Let's see if I can stick my paw in there. Oh, just a little more. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the the failure that we had and mind you when this thing's running we got you know about 600 psi in here and what do you think is going to happen if you have a tor o-ring what do you think is going to happen let me take this thing off so you can see exactly the condition of this thing okay i'm gonna actually take the other one out and compare and contrast the both of them oh, i barely even did anything with that one Okay, go ahead and take her out. You guys look in that other hole, you can see the spring that is sitting in there. You can see the top of it. We're gonna have to pull that out. Okay, so here's my other fitting. Coming out. And that, that one doesn't look as bad as the other one, but still is all nasty and oily, so. Um, we got one more plug. Okay, if you guys look directly to the right of that fitting, you'll see a plug going in the back of the pump. That is our last plug o-ring fitting that we're going to have to remove. So let me show you what you gotta do for that. Okay. We are going to use 18 milli flex head. And I'm gonna go just like this. This one was actually tight. Now you are gonna lose some oil. All right, I unscrewed the plug out the back of the pump. And um, be prepared to, you know, capture oil in the engine valley, you're going to make a mess underneath the vehicle. So now that that high pressure pump cavity is drained out, we're going to remove these two springs that are down in there so that we can clean the cavity out and put our Loctite on the fittings. So I'm going to show you, we're going to take one spring out and notice the orientation of how I pulled that out, that little, this open spring is at the top. So we're gonna go and get the other one. I'm gonna crush my brake clean here. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there's our two springs. I'm gonna put these on the bench. All right, so now all we're gonna do is pretty much just brake clean all this stuff out of here. Let me uh, go on this side here. Bring my light. It's brake clean and everything. It's gonna come out that back of that plug. So we'll have totally clean fitting holes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally clean. Oh yeah, it's 
film up. Flush it out with that brake clean, get that back plug. Get that with, with the brake clean. And um, yeah, so now it's time to uh, prepare all three components for their new O-rings. So I got all three O-rings off each component. This is the uh, plug off the back of the pump. You can actually see it kind of still has a little pinkish color to it. Those are the new ones. Here's our problem child one. You can see that. That guy is completely, completely trashed. That was the front one. This was the one next to it. Um, so I went ahead and I put all three new O-rings on. I've cleaned everything with brake clean. And um, put them on, let them, let them rest for a few minutes, let them stretch back down to their, their size because you got to roll them over and you know, stretch them out a little bit. So you just you know, want to make sure before you thread them in that the O-rings relax back to its normal uh, resting position. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've already put the springs back in, into the pump the correct way. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply Loctite to the first three threads of each fitting and plug that's going to go on the back of the pump. It's going to go like this. Da, 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 da. Alright, I'm happy with that. That's what you want it to look like after. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same thing for each each one. Okay everyone, now it's time to screw them in. Alright, we're going to screw them in by hand and we're going to torque all three of them to 25 footy pounds. Okay, got one fitting in, got the last fitting in, and now I'm going to go and put the plug in, screw and plug in, plug screwing. And then we are going to, what I say? 25 footies. 25. 25 coming up. Twenty-five coming up. And we are there. Here we go. And then we gotta do the back, the back one, the back pluggy. Torquing, torquing the plug. Kinda, kinda tough. Need to put a little extension on it. All right, there we go. Tightening plug. Okay, we're here, here we go. 25 footies. Remember to off your torque wrench when you're done. And then, uh, yeah, now it's pretty much just put the lines back on. Yeah, pretty much got memory. So this one. Oh, I gotta put that one underneath, underneath the harness here. All right. Alright, that's one. Uh, that's two. I'm gonna give them just a little love tap with a screwdriver and hammer just to make sure they're, they're seated. Just gonna clip on all my connectors. 
ones I took off. I took this out here just to give me a little extra room. Put this eight milli back through. And when you guys are done, don't forget you're gonna have to clean all your oil because uh, you're gonna be making a mess. Put the lines on. Alright, get it done. These lines in with the old hammer do. Make sure that they're in and clipped in. And that's it, you guys. 7.3 liter coming at you. High pressure oil pump fittings. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section below. If anybody's ever had to replace their fittings on their high pressure oil pump. And as always, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.